On July 17, 2007, the Georgia State Fire Symposium was held at the Georgia Public Safety Center in Forsyth, Georgia. The symposium was sponsored by the Georgia State Fire Marshal's Office, the Georgia State Insurance and Safety Commission, the Georgia Fire Inspectors Association, and the Georgia Public Safety Commission. As part of the conference, Fire Free Coatings Incorporated, a manufacturer of high performance fire retardant and fire resistant coatings, provided an educational seminar on intumescent coatings for over 300 fire chiefs, inspectors, and firefighters. Following the seminar and at the behest of the State Fire Marshal's Office, a demonstration burn was conducted to exhibit FF88's ability to provide effective fire protection when applied to vinyl siding assemblies and to demonstrate a fire's potential to rapidly spread to eaves, attics, and roof structures, with total destruction and possible loss of life soon to follow. Vinyl siding buildings present some highly dangerous situations and unique problems for fire response teams, especially in rural communities faced with limited fire protection service and longer response times. You will see that structures coated with FF88 will not only stay intact with little or no damage, but will also contain and retard the fire in order to allow for greater response time and increase safety, not only for the occupants, but for the firefighters as well. Three separate identical panels were constructed with the following differences. Panel one on the far left was constructed of vinyl siding applied over OSB board. The eaves are open and contain a standard galvanized eave vent. The simulated rafters are two by six pine with half inch OSB roof sheathing and one by V rustic pine eave boards. There is a simulated wood deck structure which supports the fuel load used for the demonstration. Panel two in the center was similarly constructed except the siding was coated directly with FF88 fire resistant coating in a brown color. This panel simulates the exterior walls of a previously constructed vinyl siding building and illustrates the effect of FF88 when used in retrofit of existing construction. Panel 3 on the near right is identical to the others except the OSB sheathing was coated with FF88 fire resistant coating and the vinyl siding was applied over FF88 coated OSB sheathing and the siding was painted with the standard exterior paint in a green color for identification purposes. This panel simulates the use of FF88 when used in new construction. The simulated fuel source for all three panels is a 20 pound wood crib with additional Excelsior filler to allow a fuel source matching the criteria of the Factory Mutual 4880 room corner test. The sources of ignition for this demonstration are identical amounts of alcohol and as you can see, the actual ignition timing is very near simultaneous. As you can see, the uncoated vinyl siding on the far left, panel one, is already starting to distort and the initial consumption of the siding begins at about 25 seconds into the demonstration. At approximately 40 seconds into the test, the uncoated siding on panel three on the rear right is starting to distort and the flame source on this panel will soon reach the FF88 coated OSB sheathing. The siding supported by the FF88 coated sheathing on panel three is still intact and shows little indication of the fire's effect. At three minutes, 45 seconds, the uncoated siding on panel one at the far left is nearly consumed and the flame is now attacking the eaves. Meanwhile, the flames of panels two and three have progressed approximately halfway up the simulated wall and show no indication of fire having reached the eaves attic or roof structure. At approximately five minutes into the demonstration, the wall structure, the eaves, and the overhang of panel one are completely involved in flames. On the other hand, flames on panel two and three still have not progressed beyond the halfway point of the exterior wall and is of no threat to the eaves, attic, or roof structure. Seven minutes into the demonstration, the rafters of panel one show an early indication of the exterior fire reaching within the simulated attic area. Panels two and three show no indication of a similar fire entry into the attic areas. Three minutes and 25 seconds later, the fire in panel one has engulfed the attic and roof areas and is well on its way to threatening the life of the occupants as well as the life and safety of the fire response team members. 
It is a well-documented fact that ceiling and roof fires hold the most potential for total out-of-control destruction by fire. Conversely, at panels 2 and 3, the fire has progressed no further and flames never reach the eaves, attic, or roof structures. At a little less than 12 minutes, the uncoated panel on the left is totally consumed and destroyed. The entire structures would in most cases have been engulfed in flames and totally destroyed. At the same time, the brown colored FF88 coated panel in the center and the green coated panel on the right are still intact and there is no spread of flame or threat of fire spreading to the eaves, attic, or roof structure. Once again, FireFree 88 spearheads a new generation of fire retardant and fire resistant coatings, bringing a new level of fire safety ability and adding a new tool against the life and property threatening disaster of fire.